Welcome to the new section, Extensions. Extensions are one of the most useful features in the Swift language. In this section, we'll define an extension, take a look at protocol extensions and text validation. Towards the end, we'll see extensions with the Swift standard library and equatable protocol. Now, let's move on to the first video of the section, defining an extension. In this video, we're going to take a look at extending types such as structures, enumerations, and classes. In the extension keyword, followed by the name of the type you are extending, type between curly brackets. See, this is how we define an extension. We add an extension to the string type from the Swift standard library. While we can use extensions to add functionality to our own custom types, it is usually better to add the functionality directly to the type itself. This way, our code is easier to maintain. Let's see how we can add functionality to a standard Swift type using an extension. This code extends the string type to add a method that returns an optional value that contains either the first character of the string or a nil if the string is empty. Once we add this extension to our application, all instances of the string type can take advantage of the new functionality. There is also nothing special that needs to be done to access the functionality. Instances of the string type do not know or care or from an extension. This example shows how we use the getFirstCar method. This will print the character T to the console. It is just as easy to add other functionality such as subscripts to existing types. This is how we would add a subscript to our string extension that accepts a range operator and returns a substring with the characters defined by the range operator. This is character t. If we wanted to extend the integer type to add a method that would return the value of the integer squared, we could do it with an extension like this. We could then use this extension to get the value of any integer squared. See? 6 squared to 36. Another example would be to extend the double type to add a method that would convert the value of the double to a string type representing the value as a currency. This method would round the number to two decimal places and add a currency symbol. So, 25.6789 is rounded to 25.68, prefixed by dollar symbol. We cannot add stored properties with extensions. However, we can add computed properties. Earlier, we added a method named squared to the integer type. We could have implemented this functionality as a computed property, as shown here. The result is the same. Now that we have seen how to extend a standard type such as classes, enumerations, or structures,